हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू माय चैनल स्मृति जैन आर्ट्स सो आई हैव बीन डूइंग मंडाला आर्ट फ्रॉम पास लाइक थ्री फोर मंथ्स एंड आई एम टोटली इन लव विद दिस आर्ट सो टुडे आई विल बी शेयरिंग द बेसिक things which we need to know to start the mandala so intended audience for this video is the people those who are interested in do, uh, doing this mandala art or they have never tried it but it looks so appealing to them that they want to try it so the four points which i'll be covering today is like the surface on which you can try your mandalas surfaces different types of surfaces and the tools you need to put the dots and third is the paints and fourth is the dotting pattern so first we are going to discuss the surface on which you can try your mandalas so i have tried it on the this is a disposable box a plastic this was black in color so i have uh, not painted it with black I just put some dots on it so it looks very attractive and then uh, this is a glass bottle for the glass bottle you need to paint it black mixed with any glue i have used fevicol here and then you can try your mandala on a glass surface and this is a pen stand which is made by my daughter these are the bathroom rolls on which she has sticked black sheets so it is just paper black sheet on which she has done this mandala and this is also done by my daughter it's a watch case box this also she has painted black first and then she has tried this mandala while she was learning it and this is a turtle it's a clay turtle which i have made so this is same as stone you this mandalas are done on stones also so for doing it on clay and stone you have to first paint it black and then you can try different designs and this is a mud pot on this also i have painted it black and then tried this it looks it has come out so beautiful this was the first thing which i did with the mandala art so these are all done on paper sheet which are which has a base of a cardboard i have cut it in a circular shape <clears throat> and then stick the white sheet on it painted it black and then just did some dotting on it and it looks very beautiful there is no rule that you have to use black color uh, in the background you can use any color of your choice but based on the background color you have to select the color of uh, the dots this yes, now we'll come to the tools point so earlier i when i was learning i never had any mandala tools i use many things like this for dotting so this is a pencil unsharpened pencil this can be used for putting thick i mean uh, broader dots and then i have this tool this is crochet this is glue gun stick and then pointed pencils toothpicks and i have done mandalas with these and it's well and good if you have these tools it becomes very easier and your work looks very neat these are the flat tools which we use to put the dots and these are the rounded tools these are used when we put descending or ascending uh, size dots i'll show you where are they used so if you are truly interested to make some wonderful mandalas get these tools otherwise you can manage with these also pencils toothpicks earbuds So now we'll talk about the paints. What type of paints we need for mandala for putting perfect dots? So earlier I tried using these uh, paints, which I use in my acrylic paintings, and then the dots were not coming in the proper shape. 
and then i realized that consistency keeps changing when we use these paints they are these are thicker in consistency and we, every time we need to mix water in it so instead of these when i tried these liquid bottles these are some glittery colors and these are best for putting the dots in the beginning you can try these colors baby acryl acrylic colors these comes in 10 to 12 shades and these are enough to start with and keep one thing in mind you have to keep all the bottles in upside down always because if you keep it like this then it keeps drying in the upper part and then you get some uh, dried part in the dots which looks very bad so this covers the colors so now i'll show you the dotting patterns here i have made it already to explain it so these are the same size dots show you one example here in this art i have used these same size dots to make a circle and then this pattern wherein i have uh, decrease the size of the dots like this bigger and then smaller and this is the increasing pattern and here again the same size dots and these also are some leaf kind of shapes which when we add it looks it gives a very beautiful look to the mandalas see you can see it here and this again is a shape which you can try so for these ones for if you are doing it with pencil or something then it should have a flat surface here of the size of the dot which you want to put if you want to put bigger size dots these are the tools which we use hope you can see it here with a broader sort of surface so these are different tools which we can use to put the dots so the basic idea is if you want to put the similar size dots you need to have this type of surface i'll try it with the pencil i'll show it to you the better the best way to do it is take the paint after every drop so that you get the thicker dots which looks really appealing okay and now for this descending thing you need to have this rounded end kind of tool this works well when we are decreasing the size of the dots or increasing the size of the dots so i'll show you how to do it put one dot and then bring it down like this in this case you need not to dip the tool again and again in the paint because anyways you need a lesser paint for the smaller dots i hope it is visible so this is how we do it and then this is again the same thing as we did here the bigger dots and here i have done smaller dots same size dots okay i hope you got the idea like which tool we need to choose for a particular type of dot for this one again you need a rounded tool rounded head dip it take enough quantity of paint in it put it here and then just drag it down with every leaf you need to take 
some paint drag it down this looks very beautiful so hope you got it and for this one again Just drag it down. Take good enough amount of color. Wait for some time and then drag it. Let the paint go down from your tool and then drag it. These X is very good fillers when you are doing big mandalas and gives a very different look also. hope it is visible hope you have understood the basic idea on how to get perfect dots and how to make your mandala look beautiful and attractive thank you so much please do subscribe to my channel and do let me know know if you still have any doubt regarding this i will definitely help you out and in the next video i'll be showing how to get a perfect mandala in a circular shape so soon i'll be coming up with a new video wherein i'll tell you how to uh, figure out the center of a uh, circular canvas or whichever board you are using for the paintings and then how to make a perfect circle how to do the divisions to get a perfect mandala so i'll be putting that up very soon in my next video so please do subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching it see you soon with a new video